Hopefully everything's turned out okay. Ta-da! Oh, that is so cute. <laughs> Look how cute this is. Oh, I fell in love with it. I think this will make a cute outfit. So we've got lots of new mugs in, so very, very excited to get them all printed. Right. Okay, where's my little cat pocket? Ah, it's like fluffy. Hopefully everything's turned out okay. These are my enamel pin backing cards and my mouse mat backings for my smaller mouse mats. Let's get upside down. Ugh. Oh, I'm going to have to contact the company. Ooh. All right. So we got, oh my God, I ordered so many. What the heck? Clean print. <gasps> oh, yay. Oh, it's got a mark on it, that one. Well, these are going to last forever. I wonder if they've changed the printer because the print quality looks amazing. But that's the back of it and it's to encourage people to keep the backing card if they do order it with packaging. And you can hang this up on your wall and look how cute that'll be. And it's got Sunny here and Bumblebutt. Ooh, then we've got the purple one. These look way better quality than last time. Oh, it looks so pretty. Green one. And it's Bon Bon. <gasps> Ta-da! Oh my gosh, I kind of want to stick one of these on the wall because I think it looks really cute. Maybe I could stick it here. Look at this, this would make cute art print, am I right? And it just says a wonderful world of catnip. It's got my branding on as well. And then last but not least, we've got the pink one. cha -jung! And this is the sakura branches and stuff for this one. I'm gonna have to start, I'm gonna have to buy like a two terabyte editing drive or something, or stop editing in 4K. I'm gonna get my ears I can't wait to go to Japan. Wait, this looks like bonbon. Oh, I think I might get this. piece on the wall. I also got a yellow caddy from the charity shop. Look how cute these little key rings are. It's got this little floaty in it. Don't know if you can see. But oh, I fell in love with it. I had to get it from this brand called Kenji. It's floating on a little unicorn but it keeps turning away from me. There we go. Can you see it? 
Oh, he keeps turning away. There we are. Oh, so cute. This one is so cute. It was only £2 as well. It was on offer. It was like £3.50, but it was £2. £2.50. Do you think this will make a cute art print? Like a piece of wall art. Oh, it's a good fan, folks. It looks like Froggo. I think it looks so cute. I might just stick it here for now. I don't know where I'm going to put it. Another thing we've got is hopefully the enamel pin backing cards. <laughs> uh, which didn't arrive the other day when we unboxed the mouse mats. Put in the dog one. On these ones I've kept called them both sakura branch and i forgot to change that to a little sakura pin uh, but i'm sure it won't matter really it's still technically a sakura branch i'm just going to round a few of these and trim the corners like i normally would and then i'm going to put the enamel pins on Ta -da. a mistake they've printed this can you see that's meant to be bumblebot so they've actually printed my backing card on bumblebot um onto the front and i don't know what's happened there because that's meant to be the back of all the enamel pin backing cards like this. These are all printed right. It looks so pretty, doesn't it, with the little cherry blossom on the back as well. Oh my god, I'm so stoked for this uh, launch. I don't know what's gone on there. It's really, really annoying. I've mentioned printed.com really going downhill um, in quite a few of my vlogs. I don't know why I keep ordering from them, to be honest. I think I've definitely... It's just... I think the website is easy to use, but in the end of it, it's actually more painful because I have to, like, always contact them or email them message them because they always get my products wrong so uh, looks like I need to find another printed company but yeah would not recommend but they do look cute on the backing cards it's just what on earth has went on there how have they missed a whole portion of like 800 business cards out of my order and then got them wrong I'm not sure I'm gonna contact them now and then I'll call it a day and I'll see you tomorrow <laughs> We ran out of the freebie thank you cards, so this morning we went and picked these up from our local print company. So I'm just restocking them before I send off for some more in a bulk batch, but these are just quickly to get manufactured quickly, so we didn't skip them out the orders, but I need to round all the corners now. guys so yesterday I ended up getting off the call of printed.com and I realized when I turned them around I thought only one was um, a mistake in my enamel pin backing cards but it turns out they're all like messed up today I want to get to work on sending off the final bits for the Sakura collection I need to do the planner stickers and I actually did some bumblebutt illustrations while I was watching love is blind on my sofa so they are all ready to go but next up I want to do putting the dog because I also want to make 
planner stickers as well on my Cricuts. Oh, I also really wanted to create some new pin um, collection cards. So I listened to you guys in the comments and a couple of people said it would be nice to have a large backing card where you can buy the full set together as a collectible pin set. And I thought that would be quite good because I've ordered 200 of the pins each and maybe I could do 50 of them as a set. So I think I'm going to design maybe a backing card that's square. So let's have an experiment and I'm going to basically do this a similar design to this but I'm going to order it from somewhere else. Alright what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to print out a test print page because I have two sizes in mind for this enamel pin bundle and I think I actually might do something different that I normally don't do with my enamel pins. I think I might actually put these all on the backing card ready to just be shipped out which we don't normally do we normally just put them in the box and put them on the backing card as we're shipping but i think with the bundle i'll probably do it all ready to be shipped out but there's two sizes i have in mind one is a6 and one is a square size so i'm just going to open up a photoshop document and i'm going to print out two very basic like shapes and i'm going to pop the uh, pins on it and see what looks better so that's what i'm going to do right now I need to organize these pins. I did two little examples and I actually do think the square one looks a little bit better but by the time I add like my logo and everything on it I'm not sure if it's gonna uh, be too cluttered the, this one looks a bit too big but I'm thinking once I've put the design on it it might not uh, look as like big I don't know I'm gonna actually design the back end for the A6 and see what it looks like and if I still don't like it I'll design one for the square one all right so I've done three different card designs we've got two A6 ones I've just used the illustrations that I did for the enamel pin backing cards and then we've got this little square one I don't know what it is about squares but they just look so pretty so I'm, I couldn't decide on these two designs they don't look that much different but they are slightly different and um, so I'm gonna put them on the back and see what they look like then I'm gonna get them set off. It's always good to do a test print like this because then you don't make any mistakes. Like now I'm liking the A6 size a bit more so by the time I've added like the details and everything this might be too small so I'm just going to pop these off here and put them on see what they look like. Alright that's the square one. Oh ah, they're all falling out. I didn't put the backs on them. So this is the year six one and as you can see because the illustrations there it does actually work quite well with the backing cards on and this one's a square one. Ta -da! Oh I can't decide which one I prefer. Mind you that's a thank you card size so that might actually work better when it's laid out. Okay Mike your opinion. Alright it seems to be um, a joint decision. The square was the most popular however i'm just thinking in the post like because this is slightly larger in the post this lays straight on top like our thank you card and it's the exact size so if someone just ordered the pin collection this would actually look nicer in the package like if we take this off and then the full set is underneath it so uh, I don't know though because i feel like the square is much more compact and pretty and cute so I just, I don't know, I like the square one. All right, so I have been hard at work getting to work on some new designs. I did those thank you cards and I also decided to bring back my stationary notepads. I have literally not done notepads or stationary, stationary items since like 2020, I think was the last time. So I thought it was about time to add some notepads to the mix so i did this to-do list and i've just done a um a test print it is pretty large this is going to
to be like a large to-do list as you can see you've got all those to take off but these are really handy Mike and Dean actually use these in the studio to have them we have like multiple ones dotted around of our old ones so this was a test print for that one and then we have a little notebook one as well I also sent off for the enamel pin backing cards and now I've also designed some new pin displays so we actually hand make our enamel pin displays here and they're all made to order and yeah we've done three new designs which have all of these elements incorporated in so if you collect pins and maybe you have like a cute pin sakura collection that you get from different places and you collect them you can put these on this beautiful pin banner and it's kind of like a piece of wall art so let's see how they turn out so mike is currently just doing a little bit of a test print for the banners all right we got some pin banners, oh they look so cute, let me give you a little tour. So I finished up designing all the pin banners and Mike did a test print for me. So we've got this pin banner which is a bit more minimalistic so if you collect beautiful pink or green pins this will go perfectly on there. And then you can also get custom text, this is my cute pin collection as standard but you could get anything, you could get like Catherine's pin collection or just have it blank if you want so there's one. I think this is going to look so nice on a wall with with like I don't know that themed pins like kawaii pins we then have one with bumble button and we've got sakura branches this one would work really really well for our sakura collection here it would look really nice on there but uh this one's got bumble button on the bottom look at this oh that looks so cute it's gonna look so nice on the wall these are my favorite pin banners i've done and then last but not least i decided to do a scene one uh with trees and stuff in the background and again we've got bumble butt in the corner there so you can put all different type of sakura pins or whatever you collect really on there and you can use it as a little art piece that goes on your wall so we've got three brand new banner collections and i am going to be adding this pink colour to our uh, pin banners that we've got already. These are some of the older designs that are still up. You can also ask for a catnip logo as well free of charge if you leave it in the notes to sellers. If you do have a catnip um, pins that you collect we will put the logo on if you would prefer that. Speaking of backing cards we've actually had the reprint sent to us for the backing cards that were all wrong. So I really hope these aren't messed up because I actually posted to Instagram that we're gonna do the Sakura launch on the one of the final days of April, so Sunday at the 30th. But it actually means that we're not gonna be able to have the washi stands in the launch because we're still waiting on the manufacturer for that and they haven't, they're having like issues with the sizing and getting the washi tape to fit. So I think that might have to just come out at a later date because I can't postpone this launch anymore, which is a little bit heartbreaking, but we are sold out of the other washi stands and we are going to be restocking them because I know I've had a few requests. So hopefully these have turned out okay. I'm really freaking out, I hope they have because otherwise we're just gonna have to make do with what we've got. I can see something wrong oh no that must have just been at the bottom there what i'm confused oh no that's okay oh, right okay number one that is okay that's bumble butts backing card my goodness it's always stressful so i've really gave myself a time limit for launching this launch but i thought i'm just gonna have to do it so we have a lot to do this week but i'm actually planning on doing um, my website, I'm going to soft launch by the time you're watching this vlog, hopefully our website will be live, catnip.com and um, I'm going to soft launch the website and just like publish it and see if we have any teething issues and see if we get any orders in on the website and see if anyone notices but I am changing the theme so I'll pop on the screen now what the theme currently is. I made this theme ages ago now, like a year ago and Dean and Mike have both like had a look at it inspected it and there is some issues with manoeuvring around it and it's also classed as a vintage theme apparently which means that there's 
tools available to us on Shopify that we can't access so um, it's just basically no good for us so even though it looks really cute it's going to be changed but I am thinking of just soft launching it with this theme just to get it out there and I really wanted this Sakura launch to be ready to use on my new website so I've gave myself a huge task because I still have some mugs that I need to make and we've got some new mugs in you're currently sat on a whole box look at this so we've got lots of new mugs in the studio is a mess there's just bits everywhere this is normally what happens with a launch Dean is just packaging your guys orders I'll show shipping them out we have pink mugs as well so we've got pink handled mugs come in uh, I think this might be the larger mugs that we've got so very very excited to get them all printed but today I am basically going to be sitting down and doing the website with Mike and Dean and soft launching it with the existing theme that's already on there so we can have a look at any teething problems and this week we need to really finish up the Sakura launch and get it finished completely Completed. I've had loads of really encouraging messages of you guys about this launch. I'm really, really excited about it. It's been the biggest one and the hardest one that I've ever worked on because we've had a few complications with like the washi stands and stuff, but I just can't delay it any further. And I am very, very excited for this one. It's super, super exciting. I hope you enjoyed this vlog. Watch out for next week when we will be doing a lot of mug experimentation and just getting really excited and finishing up the last things for this huge shop launch. I'll see you in the next one. Bye then. Thanks so much for watching. I love you. Goodbye.